guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back. Today, I'm super excited. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my ride or die makeup tag. And I was actually tagged by Amy from OCD RN Beauty here on YouTube. And I will link her channel below. I definitely suggest you guys check her out because she's so fun to watch and I love her channel. So thank you, Amy, for tagging me. If you guys are new to the ride or die makeup tag or this is your first time watching one of these videos, basically it was started by, I believe, Jack Jacqueline Hill here on YouTube. And basically the idea is that you go through each category of makeup, so like foundation, powder, blush, etc., and share your ride or die product for that category. And so essentially, the way I thought about it was I went through each category and I thought if I were to lose all my products uh, in this category, except for one, which one would I want to keep? Or if I were to just lose all my makeup, which one would I absolutely go back and repurchase tomorrow? So for some of these categories, I actually don't have a ride or die product at the moment just because I've just been searching and I haven't exactly found the one yet. So I will let you guys know I wasn't just going to pick a product even if I don't love it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first product that I want to mention, it's my base. It's not a foundation, um, but it is similar. It's the Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. Basically, this is a tinted moisturizer, kind of like a BB cream. I've had many samples of this in the past, and I love it so much that I just purchased the full size, and I don't have the full size yet, which is why I'm showing you this little guy. So there's just something really special about this. So it basically just claims to be a moisturizer with SPF. So I really wasn't expecting much at first, but it just makes your skin look amazing. Like, it, I feel like I'm wearing like a light coverage foundation when I have this on. And I have oily skin, so most SPF products make me look super greasy within like 30 minutes. This does not. This actually keeps me matte all day. It's, it's amazing. So I am so excited to finally get the full size of this. I've been wanting it for a long time. It's kind of pricey. It's about $33, which is more than I normally spend, but with foundation or base type products, I am willing to splurge a little bit. So that is my ride or die at the moment. I don't have a ride or die foundation, but uh, I'm still searching for that one. Then for a face powder, this is the Wet n Wild Fergie Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. You guys can tell I have used quite a bit of this. You can see that I have hit major pan on this. Um, this is actually the only powder that I have right now, and it's just so good. It is actually really good at setting under eye concealer and just setting the entire face. It's great at just mattifying everything, and it's also great for touch-ups throughout the day after I blot my skin and then put this over the top of it. It keeps it matte for a really long time, so loving this. I actually found this at Dollar Tree um, because the Fergie line has been phased out of the Wet n Wild's makeup line, but you can still find this powder just without the Fergie name. While we're talking about face products, I know that this isn't like a standard category in this tag, but I wanted to mention something that I have repurchased a billion times. I don't, I don't even know how many times I've repurchased this, but it's the e.l.f. Shine Eraser Blotting Sheets. These are just my go-to blotting papers. As someone with oily skin, I need these daily, and these are just, they, they just work. And I believe they are a dollar or two dollars for a pack. I really wanted to give these a mention because these this is a ride or die product for me, and I know it's not like a, a normal category in this tag, but I still wanted to mention it. For blush, I, this one was easy. <laughs> this is the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. <sighs> This is just so beautiful, and it looks like nothing. It looks like, you know, a boring, just like, not very exciting pinky color. It is so beautiful. By the way, I'm wearing most of this stuff, actually all of it on my face, except of course for the Paula's Choice stuff because I don't actually have that right now. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I'm wearing all of these products on my face. I am just completely in love with this. It doesn't even swatch that well. Um, well, actually, maybe I take that back. Um, it, it, you know, see it doesn't swatch amazingly, like you wouldn't look at that and say, oh my gosh, that's just so pigmented, but it looks absolutely just so beautiful on the cheeks, it looks super natural, I, I am wearing it right now, and it just, there's just something about it. I think that this blush color would just look amazing on so many different skin tones, and I just can't get enough of it, so that is definitely my ride or die blush. I actually don't have a ride or die 
foundation or concealer. I'm still kind of searching and trying to use up what I have because I don't like to buy a bunch of new stuff while I still have old stuff to, to work through. Um, so if you guys have any cruelty-free foundation or concealer recommendations that aren't like super pricey, let me know because I, I'm just, I'm not easy to please when it comes to face products. So uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for that. Moving on to some eye products, I love the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. This is like a few dollars, and it's just as good as the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I have tried, and you know, I, I loved it, but that eyeshadow primer is like $20. This is about $3. So I don't see why you would ever buy something more expensive than this when you could just get this, and it works amazingly. Um, it keeps your eyeshadows on all day. I do have pretty oily eyelids and they are prone to creasing when I, you know, put eyeshadow on them. But this prevents that and it's just amazing. So I love this and I would absolutely repurchase it. It'll probably take forever to get through because you only use a little bit at a time. But this stuff is awesome, so I definitely recommend this. Now, for an eyeshadow palette, this might not be a surprise, but this is the Balm New Dude Eyeshadow Palette. I have only had this for a few months, and it is just my favorite. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, I just love the shades, especially this one right here, Flirty. Oh my gosh, I just I love putting that all over the lid. I have it all over the lid right now. Um, what I'm wearing right now is, like I said, this all over the lid, and then this shade called... Feisty, kind of this transition color in the crease, which is absolutely beautiful. It's like a matte, muted lilac color. I don't even know how to describe it. And then in the center of the lid, I have Faithful, which is just this beautiful uh, shimmery gold. And then as a brow bone highlight, I have this matte cream color called Fearless. And then for the inner corner, I have Fabulous, which is not, it looks white right now, but yeah, it's kind of like a light, yellowy, shimmery something. I don't I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and then on the lower lash line, I have uh, Friendly kind of just smudged over a pencil liner on the bottom. So I am just, ugh, I just love this palette so much. I feel like I could use it for so many different looks. This is kind of generally the kind of look that I go for when I wear this. But <clears throat> you could go really smoky and dark. You could keep it really natural and light. If I lost all my eyeshadows and I could only keep one palette, it would totally be this one. I, I just love it so much. Oh my gosh. I do not have a ride or die eyeliner or mascara. <laughs> as sad as that is. <clears throat> I know that's probably disappointing, but I just haven't found the perfect one yet. And I'm trying to work through some eyeliners right now that I don't love. So, you know, it's just kind of holding me back because I, I try not to buy new things when I still have things that I'm working through from that category. So, but I am looking for a really good felt tip eyeliner. So if anyone has any suggestions for that, please do let me know. And I'm also still looking for an amazing, affordable mascara. I don't spend a lot on mascara because it goes bad within a few months. Um, <clears throat> but if anyone has a really good mascara that doesn't smudge, that is like my one pet peeve with mascaras is that they all seem to smudge underneath the lower lash line throughout the day and I can't stand that. So if anyone has any recommendations for some eyeliner and some mascara, please, please let me know. And then for lipstick, I chose the Sonia Kashuk Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Colors. I actually completely used up the one in Sheer Pink Lust, which is just a beautiful nude classic pink. The texture of these is so unique. These are, I mean, they're in the format of a lipstick, but they actually go on almost in a gel kind of way. They are pretty sheer, but you can really build it up and they actually get pretty opaque. So this one is in the shade Sheer Melon. It's a beautiful summertime lip color. As you can see, that is, that is really opaque. It also has a lot of shine to it and it just feels so comfortable on the lips, yet even though it is so comfortable, it has great staying power. So I I love these. They're about $11, which is kind of pricey for the drugstore. Um, and Sonia Kashuk is only available at Target, so it's not really drugstore, but kind of. So I, I, just, I just love these, and I definitely want to purchase more sometime soon. And I probably will repurchase that Sheer Pink Lust one, because that one is just 
beautiful and it's perfect for every day. I just love it. And then for lip liner, I am wearing this on my lips right now. I'm not wearing the sheer melon on my lips because these two things don't really go together. And I really wanted to wear this lip liner. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Spice. I'm just wearing it all over the lips, kind of just as a lipstick, um, which you can do with any lip liner. But that's what that looks like swatched. It's kind of a brownish pink and it just, it's matte. So you can wear it kind of as just a matte lip color. And it, I just, I love it. I don't wear it on its own often enough, and now that I am, I'm wondering why I don't. I think it's just the perfect color for fall, too. Um, so I'm definitely going to be pulling this out a lot this season. By the way, I'm so ready for fall. It's still like 90 degrees here or more every day, but yesterday I bought a ton of like fall decor for my house. <laughs> And I just couldn't help myself. Like I, I'm trying to lure in the fall weather by buying things that are fall themed. So anyway, sorry, tangent. Oh, I forgot kind of an eye product. Well, this is a brow product. And this is the e.l.f. Uh, Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. It's, it's the same product on both sides. Um, and it gets kind of a gross like brownish tint once you use a lot of it. But um, I love this. I've, I mean, I've bought it, I don't even know how many times I've bought, this is another one of those things that I've just bought countless times, and I use both sides for my brows, I don't do it on my lashes. It's only like a dollar or two, and just, I think the reason why I buy it so much is because it's the only, like, cruelty-free drugstore brow gel that I can find, um, that's like just in the stores all the time. So I just go for this, and <laughs> it works. So I'm wearing it today. The brow product I'm wearing today is also from e.l.f. It's their brow eyebrow kit in the shade medium. And I also wanted to share some a nail polish pick because I don't know if most people do nail polish in these tags, but I need to share it because it's, it is it is a ride or die for me. So <laughs> it's the Wet n Wild Mega Last nail polish. These are only about $2 at drugstores. And the thing about this line of nail polishes is that they are so consistently good. There are other lines of nail polishes like the Wet n Wild um, Wild Shine, which actually is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. Uh, the Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail polishes, where some of them are really good and some of them are terrible. <laughs> These are all good, and you know, they're, none of them are streaky, they all go on really opaque. Most of them you can just do one coat and it is super opaque and perfect. So, so I really love these. I, I I can't help myself from buying more like every time I go to the store. Uh, a couple of my favorites are um, the shade I Need a Refreshment. It's just this perfect like minty blue. Um, Tropicalia, which is this just summertime pink. Um, and then Undercover is kind of a more fall-like pink. It actually looks like what I have on my nails now, but it's different. So those are just a few of my favorites from this line of nail polishes. I highly recommend them. They're only $2 a piece approximately and they're all just amazing the brushes are kind of wide so you can really just swipe it across the nail and it almost covers the entire nail so it's it's just awesome so those are all my ride or die products i also did not mention the i'm sorry i have some notes here <laughs> i also didn't mention a face primer uh bronzer or contour highlight setting spray or perfume because I just don't have a holy grail product in that category yet. But please do let me know if you have any recommendations in those categories because I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you're watching this video and you want to do the tag, consider yourself tagged. I love watching these videos, so if you do do the tag, <laughs> do do. If you, if you do the tag, please let me know and I will absolutely watch it. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, feel free to just leave your uh, ride or die products in the comments below and I will be enjoying reading those. So thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!